Hello friends, welcome to Leg Life. And we are somewhere very exciting, at least very, very exciting for me. <laughs> uh, behind me is Bucky's, one of the greatest places in the history of the world. I'm not even <laughs> over exaggerating, but here's the thing. Sherry Beth has never, ever, 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 ever been to a Bucky's. Right. And so we're here in Florida. Uh, this is the Bucky's right outside of St. Augustine. This was the first Bucky's in Florida. They now have two of them. It is, I believe, just over 50,000 square feet of beaver nuggets, beef jerky, brisket, and all sorts of tchotchkes. Okay. Sherry Beth, are you excited? I'm ecstatic. Um, you are You are not, <laughs> because I want to talk about this. Tell me, you don't understand. It's have, a gas station convenience store. Okay, so that's what I want you guys to know. She's going into this and that's kind of she thinks. She's like, how could this be cool? It's Okay, a, but here's the thing. You said the same thing about Wawa, which is a <laughs> gas station convenience store. Okay, they're not- like, the, It's the best thing ever. And I, I'm like, it's a gas station convenience store. I do, and I've been. I do love Wawa a I lot. I don't, I just don't, I don't- I love Bucky's so much more. And this okay. is on a totally different level. They can't even be compared. All right. This is like, this is the Disneyland <laughs> of, of convenience of stores. Convenience stores. Right. So let's go inside and have Sherry experience Bucky's for the very first time. Also, I do want to talk about how the first thing we see pulling up is a Maserati at Bucky's. <laughs> Sherry, see, not any convenience store. Okay. All right, here we go. First time, Bucky's. Let's do this, Sherry. <laughs> Oh, that smell. That's something not enough people talk about is the smell of Bucky's. I love it. Okay, the first thing we see as we walk in is the Christmas display. You guys, <laughs> so amazing. And like the Christmas in Florida Bucky shirts. Okay, Sherry, instantly you can kind of tell, not your normal gas station, convenience store, right? Right. All right, let's explore. Bucky's not messing around. Like their own ugly Christmas sweater, their own pajamas. Well done. Sherry, how can you not love a store that has an entire truck <laughs> filled with these? It's, are you kidding me? It's so great to have like Bucky's. Okay, I feel like we, you guys know, we get a Christmas ornament to commemorate different vacations and trips. Hmm, I, think we need this I feel like we need a Bucky's Christmas ornament to commemorate your first time ever on the hallowed grounds of Bucky's. I mean, Sherry. To have a 20 foot wall of beef jerky. What more do you want? Sherry, what gas station have you ever been to that has their own <laughs> wine glasses? See, it is not just any gas station, True. it's a fancy gas it's station. Fancy. Totally. I'm convinced that you could decorate your home, fill your pantry, like clothe yourself <laughs> all in this store. In fact, that's a YouTube challenge video 30 days at Bucky's, where all you do is like live. Bucky's for 30 days. All right, now we're getting into things that Sherry will appreciate. You say tomato. You say tomato, I say The best things about Bucky's is the food. I mean, just like jerkies, sausages, baked goods, all of the fudge, the nuts, dipping dots, the brisket, turkey, pulled pork. Like, what more could you want? One of the things I love, you can see they're actually like cutting brisket back there for the sandwiches. So cool. All right, I think we are starting to sway Sherry because she just found something very on brand for her. Unicorn popcorn. Unicorn popcorn? Lemon and berry flavored candy coated popcorn. What? Are we gonna have to get one of those? Maybe. All right. The other thing Bucky's known for is their restrooms. Weird thing to be known for, I get, if you don't know, but they're super clean, super nice. Okay, Sherry, mm -hmm. you, I made you go into the restroom just to check it out. Yes. You have to see the bathrooms if you come to Bucky's. Which and is a weird thing. It's a weird thing, yeah, it is a weird thing because- But it was really big and it was really nice. And clean. And very clean, yeah. Most gas stations or convenience stores, you avoid the bathroom unless like you're, well- In dire need. <laughs> in dire need. Right. But this is different. This is really nice. It yeah. was nice. All right, are we starting to make a convert? Maybe? Maybe. Also, I was just talking to a guy. It was hilarious because uh, when Sherry came out of the bathroom, I was like talking to somebody because I was like holding popcorn. And he and I basically are just like best friends now. Um, <laughs> but we were talking about like Bucky's brands everything so well. Like from pecan logs to like divinity logs to just like everything they have. They have beaver nuggets and white fudge. I did not know that. Just like they do such a good job with everything. Candied jalapenos, pickled okra, pickled quail eggs. I'm telling you guys, like, they have everything. What else? Okay, what else did you just get? Just strawberries and bananas. 
All right. It's funny because I'm over here just like, let's get all the sweets. And Sherry's like, let's get some freeze dried fruit. Well, and unicorn popcorn. Some days beaver nuggets just don't cut it. You've had the kind of day or week where you need more than that. They've even got wine. Sherry just spotted something that I think she's excited about. They have an entire, <laughs> an entire gummy wall. Yes, let's go look. <laughs> what did you just say? Said, okay, now I'm sold. Now she is sold. It was the gummy <laughs> wall that won her over. The clean bathrooms got her close. The gummy wall finished the job. Now, we do have to be strategic because we're going to have dinner with my brother and sister-in-law right now. But we can't not get some food. So I think we want to get some kolaches. I think we're going to get one of those because Sherry's never had one before. And then maybe like a brisket sandwich because they're pretty iconic here. But let's see. And then if the wall of jerky wasn't enough, they have all of this jerky in the case as well. Like hill country pepper jerky, pepper jerky, cherry maple. Oh my gosh, sweet and spicy. Garlic. And then like cheeses, sherry. It's just perfect. Bucky's experience number one, done. Let's go sit in the vehicle and talk about a sherry. So I want to remind everybody, before we went in there, Sherry was like, I don't get it. It's a gas station convenience store. What's the big deal? Now that you've had your first Bucky's experience, tell me your thoughts. It was cool. Uh -huh. It was cooler than I was expecting. Okay. I feel like it doesn't know what it wants to be. <laughs> that's, the, that's the beauty of Bucky's <laughs> is that it doesn't have to be one thing. Right. Like, I feel like it's like Fred Meyer Light. So Fred Meyer, if you guys don't know, is a store we have in Alaska. Target Light. Target Light, where it's like yep. they have enough of everything. A little bit of everything. This is like a smaller version of that. Yeah. One of my favorite things about Bucky's is just the novelty of it. That okay. it is, it is a gas station. Convenience right? store. That's gas station convenience right. store that is built around a beaver brand. <laughs> that I don't even know if they have beavers in Texas. I'm, maybe they do. We do in Alaska, <laughs> certainly. Um, but it's just like so kitschy. And that's the thing that I love about it. Right. And they sell a little bit of everything and it's so random and it's so wonderful. And here's what I will say. Every time I leave a Bucky's, I am happy. And that says a lot. And now on our Christmas tree, you guys, like... <laughs> Are you kidding? This little guy? <laughs> Every year we decorate, I'm gonna smile because of that. Yeah. Uh, so we bought that, we bought some watermelon rings, we bought uh, a collage, a sausage and cheese collage, a sliced brisket sandwich, bottle of water. Um, Sherry, I do think that we should we try. We unicorn popcorn. We, we also got the unicorn popcorn, <laughs> of course. I do think we should try the food though. Yeah. And let's see if it is at least as good as normal gas station sliced brisket sandwiches. <laughs> okay, we're opening this up. Check this out, you guys. Keeping in mind that one of our best friends is like one of the best brisket makers ever in the history of ever. Owns a barbecue food truck. Right, so, so we, we have pretty high standards. Our standards are high. When it comes to brisket. But one of the things I really appreciate, I caught this on the vlog, I think I showed this, is like they're legit slicing the brisket right there. in there. Right. Yeah. It's not like some kitchen hundreds of miles away. So let's see. Sherry's first ever gas station sliced brisket sandwich. It's good. It's pretty good. It right. is pretty good. I had mm -hmm. this on one of my, actually I think I had the chopped brisket on one of my first ever Bucky's trips. And I remember thinking, oh, that's the best gas station sandwich I've ever mm -hmm. had. Because it's not tough and chewy. <laughs> it's really good. Which is what you would expect. Of course you would. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this, a huge success. It's good. Now, Let's try the kolach. I love these. I've never I, had one before. Sherry's never had one before. It's basically bread, like uh, like a meat and cheese. It's basically bread, meat, and cheese. Mm -hmm. I love them, but one of the things I've loved about them is that when I've gone to Bucky's before, it's normally been on work trips or trips to Texas where I'm going to be driving a bunch, mm -hmm. and they're a perfect road trip thing. It's easy to eat. Like it's you're all self. Gonna, nope. Like drip out. It's all self-contained. All right, give it a try. Let's see. Your thoughts on, did you just get bread or did you get anything else? Oh no, you got some sausage and cheese. Mm -hmm. Okay, and not bad, kind of plain. A little bit boring. So they do have like, you could put mustard on there, you could put ketchup on there, you could put like lots of other condiments on there. I know some people love them plain, some people always doctor them up. There's a kid walking by that has amazing yellow shoes, not the point of this video. It's a hot dog, completely enclosed. 100% with no condiments. That's exactly what it is. It is a hot dog completely enclosed. Mm -hmm. Now, my favorite one is actually the sausage and jalapeno one. Mm -hmm. Sherry's not a jalapeno or a spicy fan. Right. That's exactly what I remember. Mm -hmm. 
The bread's good. It's soft. Mm -hmm. It's not like hard. Mm -hmm. The brisket though is the winner. It is actually. I'm going to agree. Not it's thing, not as good as Ben. But, but what is? But what is? Um, um, but it's good. Like I would get this. For a gas station. It's great. Yeah. All right, friends. So I think that is we're going to end our first ever Bucky's vlog. Sherry's first Bucky's experience. Sherry, if we were in an area where there was a Bucky's again. I'd go. Would you be like, you know what? Let's stop by Bucky's. Yeah. See? I would. You guys, we have a convert. <laughs> she has now understood. She has heard the gospel of Bucky's and has made the decision to believe. And has, ma has also made the decision to put it on our Christmas tree every year. That is true. Bucky's on her Christmas tree. Now, the real test is going to be how her unicorn popcorn is. Mm. We will show that in another one of our vlogs. Actually, mm -hmm. maybe the vlog you guys have already seen from, I think it will be yesterday when you were watching. But friends, we love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for coming to Bucky's with us. And here's what we want to know in the comments below. Are you a Bucky's fanboy or fangirl like me? <laughs> have you never been like Sherry? Tell me your Bucky's thoughts. And then I want to know if you have been, what there's a lady just came next to us and she's looking at me like I'm a crazy person yeah. for talking to a camera. Here's what I will say. Let's I, I wouldn't go out of my way for it. Like I'm not driving an hour plus to like go to Bucky's. Okay. Um, if it's near where I'm at, I'd go. There you go. Totally fair. Mm -hmm. I, on the other hand, would absolutely drive an hour out of the way. <laughs> to go to Bucky's. But do you have a favorite Bucky's product? Like, are you a beaver nuggets person? Are you a sliced brisket sandwich person? If you love Bucky's, if you've gone, what is your favorite Bucky's product? Let us know in the comments below, friends. We love you guys so very much. Thanks for hanging out with us and uh, we'll see you tomorrow on the next Lug Life video.